Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is grade 2, module 4. As always, write your name first. Solve the following problems. We're going to use vertical form and a place value chart. You might not have to draw the place value chart. If, uh, if it's okay for you to just use, you know, if you're going to, most people don't have place value discs at home. Although with any piece of paper, you can make a place value chart because we're used to drawing them. Uh, you could use pennies for ones and dimes for tens, and you could use those for place value discs. Um, I'm going to draw the place value charts and the dots for the chips so, so I can show you how, how you would do it. But it's up to your teacher about whether you have to draw them, your, draw them on the paper or whether you can just use something like pennies and dimes at home. So we have four ones plus seven ones. That's 11 ones. So that's a 10 bundle of 10 with one left over and then count our 10s 8 and 3 is 11 and one more is 12 that's 100 with two 10s left over and there so there's our 100 and if we look at the chart here's what it looks like if you draw it 84 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 one, two, three, four. And then the 37 is one, two, three, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's our 10 ones bundled into a 10. Here's our 10 tens. That's bundled into 100. We have 100. We have two tens. We have one, one. That's 121. 42 plus 79. I urge you to do the vertical form first. Even if you're drawing the HTO chart, just as I'm doing, do the vertical form first, because otherwise you, the tendency is you're not going to, you're not going to use the vertical form. You're not going to practice it. You're not going to get any better at it. If you just look at the numbers and write down the sum, or if you do it in your head and write down the sum, use the steps to practice the vertical method. 2 plus 9 is 11. Bundle that 10. That's a 10 and a 1. 4 and 7 is 11. 1 more is 12. 12 tens, that's 100. And 2 tens left over. There's your 100. H. T O forty two one ten twenty thirty forty two ones seventy nine ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy and then nine ones one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten ones that makes a ten here's ten tens that makes a hundred there's your hundred twenty one fifty eight and fifty six well I mean this is really easy to do mentally because you can see there's two fifties there's a hundred and then that's a fourteen it's gonna be a hundred fourteen but we're not practicing necessarily the easiest way to do it we're practicing vertical method six plus eight is 14 that's a 10 and a four two fives is a 10 one more makes 11 that's a hundred with a 10 left over and if we draw the chips one, two, three, four, five, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then fifty six. Two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bundle these ten. Bundle these ten. That makes a hundred. We have a hundred, we have a ten, and we have four ones. That's a hundred fourteen. Forty six and plus ninety six. Two sixes is twelve. That's a ten and a two. And then here we have a 10 right here, and 4 more is 14. So that's going to be 100 with 4 10s left. 142. Uh, here's our HTO chart. HTO. Forty six. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we're 96, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tens, and 6 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones. 10 ones makes the number 10. 10 tens makes a hundred. There's our hundred, our four tens, and our two ones. 75 plus 69. 75 plus 69. And mentally, this would be another one where you could think of that as 74 and 70, and you have 144. Let's see how that goes out. That turns out 9 and 5 is 14, 7 and 6 is 13, and one more is 14. That's 104 tens left over. There's your 144. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Most of the time, if you're good, if you can use the digits and, and think of the numbers if they're close to the next 10 or whatever, and you can use those tricks in your head, it's always going to be faster to do it in your head than it will be to do it on paper. But we're practicing doing it on paper because later on, we're going to be working with three digits, and then later in life, you'll be doing a lot more than that. So let's learn how to do this with numbers that are manageable. And later on, when we're better at this, we'll be able to use do this with larger numbers. For right now, though, this is what we have. 75, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, and 69, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones makes a 10. 10 tens makes a hundred. We have a hundred. We have four ones. And four tens, I mean, and four ones, that's your 144. 48 plus 94. 8 and 4 is 12. That's a 10 with two ones. Here's a 10. That's 9 and 1. That makes a 10. And 4 more is 14. 14 tens is 100 with four tens left over. That's 142. H T O. And we start with the 48. Now, mentally, you can look at this and say, oh, I need six more to make that 94 100. So that would leave 42 left and be 142. I mean, mentally, again, there's an example how you can take some from one of the add-ins to make it an easier number to add. So 48, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then the 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 
two, three, four. That's ten ones, so it's a ten, and ten tens makes a hundred. So we have a hundred, we have four tens, we have two ones, there's your hundred forty-two. Now we're looking at 162 and 38. Be careful where you put the addition symbol here for this. The tendency when you start working with triple digit, three digit add ends is to write your addition symbol here. Like it's a number. But be careful because it's, it's a bad habit that can cause problems later in life. So don't develop that habit. Keep that addition symbol out of the way. Eight and plus two is ten with zero ones left over. And here we have six and three. That's nine and one more. That's ten tens. And that's a hundred with no tens left over. And now we add our hundreds. One and one is two. H T O One hundred six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two ones. And then thirty-eight is one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones, which of course makes a ten. And now we have ten tens, and that makes a hundred, and now we have two hundreds. We have zero tens and zero ones. And now we have a hundred fifty-six, and we're adding forty-four. Six and plus four is ten, with zero ones left over. Five and four is nine. One more is a hundred. One hundred plus one hundred, two hundred. Hundreds, tens, ones. One hundred. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifty. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one hundred fifty-six. And now the forty-four. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. And one, two, three, four. There's your ten ones, making a ten. Now you have ten tens, that makes another hundred. You have two hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. Seventy-four trees were planted in the garden. Forty-nine more bushes were planted than trees in the garden. How many bushes were planted? We'll take a look at this. There's more bushes than trees. So we've got bushes and trees. The bushes have more. The trees have less. And now we can figure out where to put the numbers. 74 trees. So the trees are 74. And we know the more. The difference between the two, I'll call it the more, M, is 49. So these are the numbers. If you were looking for numbers in this word problem, they're written out in word form. And you got to read them. you got to read the words to find out what the numbers are in this one. And that's part of reading drawing the picture and writing your equation in your answer statement. That's what you do for every word problem every day. Read, draw, and write. So we read it, we drew it, and now we need an equation. The bushes, let's see, bushes are the same as the trees plus the how much more. So that's 74 plus 49. You can use any method you want to solve that expression. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, that's 49, that's almost 50, so it's 73. 73 and 50, 
that's 123. You could do it vertically. 74, 49. 9 plus 4 is 13. 7 plus 4 is 11. And one more is 12. That's 100 with 20 left over. 123. You could draw an HDO chart. You could use tape diagram addition. You could use a number bond like I did. Lots of ways you can add it. But I just did two different ways. So that's 123. There were 123 bushes were planted. And now we want to know trees and bushes. So we know how many trees there are because they told us in the beginning. Trees are 74. We just figured out how many bushes there are. 100. 23. So the two together, 74 plus 123. Let's use vertical method. Add our ones. 4 plus 3, that's 7. 7 plus 2, that's 9, and 100, that's 197, 197 trees and bushes were planted.